probably already know that living things are made up of a lot of nitrogen. It's about 3% of your total body weight. It's in our amino acids and therefore our proteins. It's in our DNA and RNA. Uh, so needless to say, it's, it's pretty important to living things. Uh, we get our nitrogen from the plants that we eat or the animals that we eat that ate those plants. Um, plants are able to get nitrogen from the soil, but there's kind of a catch. Um, you may know that nitrogen gas is the most abundant gas in our atmosphere, but plants can't use nitrogen in that form. They can't use nitrogen gas. So the nitrogen has to be converted into a usable form for plants. The process of converting nitrogen gas into ammonia or nitrate is known as nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen gas can be fixed directly in the atmosphere. Um, and this can happen a couple of ways. Uh, one of them is lighting, and it can also happen due to uh, combustion processes like fires or burning fossil fuels. Um, and that's represented here with this arrow that I'm coloring in red. Um, with, the, with the presence of lightning or combustion processes, nitrogen gas gets turned into nitrate. Nitrate is something that plants can actually absorb and the take up of nitrogen by plants is called assimilation. Another way of fixing nitrogen is nitrogen gas can actually enter the soil uh, where it will come together with what we call nitrogen fixing bacteria um, these are bacteria, in some cases, they live on the roots of legumes or plants like uh, clover and beans. And they also have the ability to convert nitrogen gas into ammonia. Ammonia is easily converted into its ionic form, ammonium, in the soil. Ammonium, much like nitrate, can be taken up by producers. And again, when living things take up nitrogen, we call the process assimilation. I should also point out that people have figured out a way to take nitrogen gas and with the input of a whole lot of energy, convert it into ammonia and nitrate to be used in industrial fertilizers. Now that we've looked at nitrogen fixation, or uh, the way that nitrogen gas is converted into a usable form for plants, we're going to follow it through more of this process. So now that nitrogen's been taken in by the plants, consumers will eat them. And again, taking in nitrogen is called assimilation, so it's no different here either. We also know that plants and animals produce waste and die, and all that material contains, well, nitrogen. So when plant leaves fall to the ground in the fall or uh, plants die, that material gets broken down by decomposers in the soil, and likewise animal waste broken down by decomposers in the soil. Decomposers turn biological nitrogen compounds into ammonium. And from here, again, ammonium can be taken up by plants. This process is known as ammonification. Ammonium in the soil can also be converted to nitrate by what we call nitrifying bacteria. So starting with ammonium, the nitri nitrifying bacteria can convert it into nitrite and then into nitrate which again can be taken up by the producers or can go on to the process of denitrification. This is a cycle after all so we've got to show how nitrogen gets back into the atmosphere to complete the cycle. Um, this is done through a process called denitrification and this uh, diagram I'd like a little bit better if this part were different. Um, denitrifying bacteria 
often live in oxygen poor soil, stagnant water, um, swamps, marshes, etc. Um, but that's not really shown well on this diagram, so you can use your imagination. At any rate, um, there's a series of steps here, and denitrifying bacteria essentially take nitrate, turn it into nitrous oxide, and eventually back into nitrogen gas. It might be a good idea to go back and look at this screencast in segments um, or to look at the diagram in your book and make sure that you understand the processes of nitrogen fixation, assimilation, ammonification, nitrification, and denitrification. Um, make sure you know where the following gases come into play. Um, nitrogen gas, nitrate, ammonia, ammonium, and nitrite. And of course you should know the formulas for those. And also make sure that you know the roles of bacteria in the nitrogen cycle. Bacteria play huge roles in nitrogen cycle. Uh, make sure you know the role of nitrogen fixing bacteria, nitrifying bacteria, and denitrifying bacteria. I hope you found this tutorial of the nitrogen cycle helpful.